this video I'm gonna review Habook OS version 3.1 which is latest build I'm gonna show you first move on to the setting you can see the latest build 3.1 version and you can see the kernel I'm using which is genm kernel I have tried two kernel which is the older version and the latest version first of all move on to the network setting you can see I am using two sim card here and you can see everything is working here like your bluetooth is working fine no problem on it wi-fi is working fine no problem and the hotspot is working as well no problem on it your hotspot is working fine no problem and everything is here is working now then move on to the customization center clock and date custom logo whatever you can change it brightness control just the brightness control you want the upper or lower you can change it and the network network traffic is shown here if i turn on my data you can see here volte is working if you want to change volte icon with sd icon you can enable this option and the quick settings you have change can here bottom you can see the brightness ladder is changed into here the all settings remain as same like as 3.0 version no problem on it new screen flaps and you can use your ambient display but i recommend you not to use always on display because it's lcd panel so uh, it will drain your battery more so don't use that up feature and then button gesture you can see three finger swipe then you can take a screenshot and then you can edit that like this the partial option you have the which portion you want to capture you can capture from here and next navigation bar like as before and the log screen you can enable double tap option music visualizer you can enable this you can see use modification is here and the animation i'm using the fade animation you can see the screen of animation i'm using the crt option let me show you the crt is like that and double tap is working fine no problem on it So that's the thing and the battery saving as well and you have gaming mode like it before and from miscellaneous you can change the screenshot type full or partial you can change it no problem on it. and everything is working fine here and the gcam is working perfectly on that rom no problem and you can see the animation and on status bar you have everything i'm using here lt which is 4g and it stores the screenshot everything and the important thing is that the battery backup i found the battery backup which is uh, a decent battery backup uh, if you are a normal user then you can use that rom perfectly no problem but if you like to play a game and a heavy user then uh, i recommend you to not use that rom because uh, if you play games and uh, heavy applications then you won't get so many backup here the battery backup is not so good at all you can see here last features two hours ago So if you are a normal user you can use that room for your daily life no problem and the location and the google assistant everything working fine no problem if you swipe from the bottom like this you can see the google assistant is working fine no problem and one important thing is that if you swipe on there 
he will have a navigation gesture i have changed the customization that's why it's not is showing here but if you swipe like this it will work so that's the short review for have a quest if you guys like my videos then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss any update if you are new please do subscribe and if you already subscribed then thank you so much and please join my telegram channel as well thank you for watching